What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with another Christmas music reaction, as well as a very sleepy Luca. Uh, and yeah, we're going to listen to a classic. Indeed, I've been digging through a box of old CDs that had sort of been stored away for a while, and a lot of them were holiday-related CDs. And this is the Time Life Treasury of Christmas, a CD compilation from 1997, but featuring a number of classic performances of Christmas tales, tales, carols, and we're going to listen to Burl Ives' version of Holly Jolly Christmas. Indeed, I think this is an original. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I certainly associate it with him. And in the moment, I can't think of another, you know, sort of classic rendering of the song. So my assumption, without uh, further knowledge, is that this is a Burl Ives original. But let me know if I'm wrong about that. Either way, I'm aware that Burl Ives is the snowman from the classic, I think, mid-60s, maybe like 65, 64 um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer animated uh, film, and I don't remember if this song is performed in that. I remember he definitely sings, you know, over the course of the uh, film, Silver and Gold comes to mind immediately, but yeah, I'm going to assume that this is in there. Anyway, I know what his voice sounds like, I know this song, I know this performance, I don't think just from this CD, and indeed, if it came out in 97, I would have been a late teenager by the time I heard it at all, so I think I was aware of it before that, and if that's the case, I would guess that it's in that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, classic short with Herbie, the uh, elf uh, who wants to be a dentist. In any case, uh, let's listen to it. This is Burl Ives. The tune is Holly Jolly Christmas, and it's included on The Time Life Treasury of Christmas, a compilation from 1997. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you meet another one with sleigh bell percussion, which again, I th you know, you got to be careful with the way you do that, but a number of carols that we've listened to this time around, I think, have arranged them well so that they're not overbearing. Even Sleigh Ride, uh, where it was the most prominent, it fits into the larger sonic um, atmosphere. So, yeah, another classic. I am going to look up in a moment whether this is his original tune. Um, but he has a very silvery voice. At the same time, I was thinking while listening to that, he has a voice that's like weirdly familiar. Like even if you heard it for the first time, it feels like, man, like I know that voice. Or it just feels like the kind of voice that you would expect to sing a Christmas tune, which I know is a weird thing to say. But um, yeah, there's just this like familiar quality to his voice. But it also is very nice, like I said, sort of silvery voice. 
Um, he has that classic kind of, I don't know if crooner is the right word, but like a classic singer of the mid 20th century he just has that sound. Uh, so I apologize, Luca, I will put you right back down. Uh, but let's find out if Holly Jolly Christmas is indeed an original. Um, okay, so, yeah, 19... Oh, this, oh, like, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is 64, so it is right about when I was thinking. Burl Ives passed away in 95, RIP. Do we have Holly Jolly Christmas? No, I think I'll just have to look that up independently. Yeah, so it is his song, a 1964 song. So the same year, and it shows the cover, or it's on the cover of the single, it shows the animations from that special. So definitely, it seems to have been in that. The uh, song was featured in the Christmas special. So that's why I knew it um, well before I got this compilation. And I think, you know, for many people, um, even if it's now played on the radio for, you know, like popular Christmas tunes, um, I feel like many people will trace it back to that, which again, you know, it's the kind of thing, along with the Charlie Brown Christmas, came out well before I was born, but, you know, more or less instantly became part of my holiday traditions growing up, so shout out to my parents and to, you know, the uh, stations that still show it um, each time around, so yeah, shout out to Burl Eyes, let me know what you think of this one, I will see you next time, peace.